Today is August the 16th, 2013. I'd like to give you some reasons why I really like version 3.0 in Mode of Wave, which um, on the surface doesn't look very different from 2.0, but believe me, it really is. When you start up Mode of Wave, you'll get a Mode of Wave console that looks something like this uh, in its generic format. You can customize this um, as I have done, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, to make better use of, uh, of your screen real estate and layout. You're, it's going to come with the default New York Stock Exchange um, set of tickers and four charts in this grid format. What you want to do is go into uh, Configure and select a new layout. And you'll find in 3.0 that you have a much more diverse um, set of layouts. If you're an experienced user, you'll know what all of these layouts is capable of doing. Uh, I'm going to delete this and I'm going to show you the layout that I use that I've called charts. Now first of all this is one difference between 3.0 and the 2.x versions that you can create in your console tabs across the top so that you can have multiple different layouts whereas before in the console you could only have one layout which meant that if you wanted to have um, several different charts, you would normally have to rely on having opened up those charts in full windows and keep them open on the, or minimized on the desktop and just um, call them up as you need them. By the way, this is a nice feature in 3.0 where you can color code uh, each of your stocks into groups or just give them unique individual colors. So if you're looking for Apple, um, you'd look for the green dot. I don't have Apple open right now, but that's a very nice feature. Um, this is how I've customized my layout. I've chosen to have a six grid. I found that the nine grid didn't work as well. The charts didn't look as good, so I really like the six grid. Um, if I wanted, I could create other tabs across the top that gave me a nine grid, that gave me a two grid, uh, and so on. Uh, notice that I don't have down the side or at the top my watch list. I, I don't need it um, in, in this particular format. Now another thing that you can do in 3.0 is that you can create tabs in each of the cells in the grid. So here I've got the SPX daily and I've got the SPY 30 minute. Here I've got one, two, three, four different charts. So you can see that one grid can represent an awful lot of different charts for you to be watching at any given time. And the way to add a new chart is just by clicking the plus sign next to the tab and saying that you want to add a chart there. You can add an order panel, you can add a positions panel, a trade history panel, um, or an account panel. You can add any other panel in any one of these grids. You can add any one of these panels across the top as well. So it's really a 3D um, ability to, to, to customize your layout. Here's another layout tab that I have which I just called stocks and now down on the side I have a watch list and the watch list that I prefer to keep on the left hand side is my own stocks. And you can look at it this format or you can click here and look at it this format. And these um, all across the top can be can be dragged and dropped. Anytime you want to pop out a particular window, all you have to do, let me go back here, if you want to pop out the 30 minute and take a bigger look at it, you can pop out the 30 minute, annotate it, and put it back. Similarly, now I'm going to go back to my stock, what I've labeled as the stocks tab. If I want to pop out my um, watch list, Uh, well here, clicking on this allows me to rearrange my uh, things that I'm going to view and click on and off the things that I want to view. You know, I can pop this out. Um, just can't see it right now. Uh, so across the top here, in this one grid, um, one cell, one grid out, outlet, outlay, layout, now I've got across the top all of the charts that I used to have open in the background in the 2.x, but now I've got them open across the top. So it's just a matter of clicking through them like this 
and seeing all of my charts. You can have sub charts to each one of these tabs as well. So if I'd like to look at Baidu on a one day and on a one week basis frequently, I'll click over here for new analysis and I'll call it weekly and I'll have it empty, not based on my primary analysis and click OK and select one week. And now I have Baidu in a weekly and my primary, primary analysis in a daily. And I can do that for any one of these charts that I have across here. So you're, you've got three dimensions, and within the three dimensions you have, let's call it a fourth dimension. So in terms of chart layout and flexibility, tremendously powerful tool. There's lots of other things I could tell you about 3.0, but its layout is the best. Uh, two other quick things. You can create a tab across the top called Scan, and it'll give you this basic layout. I can't explain how scans work in this short video, but um, I've got a scan set up to look at all of my stocks on a daily basis and on the 60-minute charts. And I can say scan all of the stocks in the My Stocks watch list like this, start the scan, and it will look for Gartley-type patterns um, in each one of my charts. So let's just, and it gives me a chart down below, so I can quickly click on this one, which has a reliability of one green dot, uh, which isn't very high. This one has a reliability of a two green dot, and shows me that I've got a, a bat pattern that completed over here, and is now in the process of pulling back and forming an ABC. So without going into how these work, just that you can create these scans, you can run two scans, and then you can click on any one of these symbols and see the result and scan results in the chart down below. Uh, extremely powerful. I don't use the Optimize tab yet, uh, and here you've got your News tab. That's a quick overview of 3.0, which I think was fantastically done by those Canadian folks at um, MotiveWave, and congratulations to them. Beautiful product. It's not cheap. Um, it works with a number of different trading platforms. I use TD Ameritrade, um, but it's outstanding.